things that uh, also is confusing is the concept of coupling versus repulsion. So coupling tends to be something called cis, which if you take in organic chemistry, or even when you're talking about the Golgi complex in general biology, these two terms should be familiar. So coupling, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do it in white. So coupling here, Coupling is where, uh, I guess, they're on, the wild type is located on the same chromosome. So say you have your chromosome arrangement here, and, oh, I'm just going to say we have B plus and VG plus here, and down here is the mutant version. So cis means same, right? So that means that the wild type traits are on the same, I'll just say wild type is on the same cis chromosome. So how would, you, how would you see this represented? And, and a lot of geneticists will ask questions that usually will say like B plus, VG plus, slanty line or fraction line, B and VG. And you're gonna be like, well, what the heck is he talking about? Why isn't he just listed as a heterozygous? This gives us extra information. He's helping you out by doing this. So that's, that's what that is. And I'll talk about repulsion, which is trans. Well, if this means same, well, trans, as you probably can guess, means that we have wild type and on, like, I guess, not conversing, but inverted uh, arrangements. So we have the wild type here. We're going to have the wild type down here and then the mutant version there. So wild type is on trans different chromosome. Well, how would I represent this? Well, I would say B plus VG slash line B VG plus.